I love to run. I've been running for 30 years. And as much as I love to run, my knees are finally beginning to say, you shouldn't run so much. Why do I like to run? Because I like being out there in nature and I like for the health kick that it gives me. Because you see, when you run, those endorphins start floating around. And it's those endorphins that can help lift your mood and, and make you feel better. There's another way to get the endorphins rolling and I think you know what that is. If the next door neighbor has been going through surgery and is now home, but is kind of disabled for the next six weeks, how does it make you feel when you bake a meal and take it over to his house and see the look on his face when he receives that meal? How does it make you feel if you go downtown Chicago the second Saturday of every month for all God's people and you are down there with 300 homeless people and you are bringing them food and clothing and all of these sorts of things? How does it make you feel when you volunteer in the hospital and you're visiting with people that are there and all of a sudden they begin to tell you how much your presence means in their life? How does it make you feel when you are helping other people? It makes you feel really, really, really good. It makes you feel special. It makes you feel like you're bringing the kingdom of God into someone else's life. Your endorphins start going. My favorite time beyond preparing for sermons is when I'm visiting people. And lots of times when I'm visiting people, they're ill or they're going through major life situations. And when I come to them, I just don't bring myself. I bring God and all of his promises to them. I never have visited an individual without feeling those endorphins going like when I run. Because when I'm visiting someone else or you are visiting someone else, you're not thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about your problems or your situations. You're totally focused on the individual you're visiting and they become a part of your life. You are gone. They are the focal point and you are bringing God's presence and your presence into their life. If you're feeling down, you could go and run five miles. Or if you're feeling down, why don't you visit someone that God puts in your head? Someone who is in a situation where they could use your presence and God's promises. I guarantee you, when you do these acts of kindness, you do feel better. God's presence is there. In his name, amen.